So I want to discuss your windmill project now. This is your first like real life problem that you get to solve in here and so let's let's walk through it. So first I want to make sure that we uh, locate the objective. So you guys are going to be applying your knowledge of mechanisms that we've learned over the past week. Um, we're going to solve a unique problem for speed, torque, force, and the types of motion. This project incorporates all those things into uh, into one activity. So it is a windmill and the first thing you notice um, that you do other than watch the video which you're doing now uh, we're going to download the word document here so it looks like this once you've downloaded it and you'll notice that by reading the procedure here uh, you are using your knowledge of mechanisms and you're designing a solution to A uh, so A here is the output speed and the torque are equal to the input speed and torque so for your first windmill design you're going to design one that um, where the speed and the torque are equal. So uh, that would be the output, um, or excuse me, the input, which would be the wind that's coming into your windmill, it would be the input. So that speed is equal to the output, which is going to be ultimately what uh, your windmill utilizes for power. So your, your output is, uh, would probably not be seen in like this windmill here, but uh, we're going to be able to see it in, in yours. So they should be equal in the first one. Uh, then you'll notice here that we have to create a different solution to solve problem B uh, to where the output speed, which is here, uh, is less than um, the input speed, but the torque is greater. So um, with the knowledge of everything that we've talked about so far, you're going to solve that problem. So you'll have two separate windmill designs and each of the solutions um, notice that uh, when you have a windmill the wind is changing directions from a linear movement coming into the windmill and it's being translated to a rotary motion um, which is actually 90 degrees so it's moving from here to this direction which is a change of 90 degrees and so uh, you need to think about that in your design as well. Uh, make sure that you do some sketches. Um, I would do sketches individually uh, and then come together with your partner and do a sketch together before you start building so you have an idea of your design uh, before you start grabbing parts and uh, and all that. So just make sure that uh, this is going to be something that is stable um, it's rigid and it's got to hold the gears in the proper relationship and something that's not going to fall apart because of outside elements and so make sure it's it's very stable and make sure that it works uh, so there you go those are your directions for your windmill assignment